Today in our 2019 Cadillac XT5, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Skyline Tower Roof Rack System. Now this system is specifically designed to mount to your flush mounted rails on your XT5. I've got it in place just to give you a good idea what it looks like, but you're going to be able to carry roof mount accessories, things like bike racks, kayak carriers, cargo boxes, and more. Now it features 50 inch long Jetstream crossbars. You can see here how they span across the roof of the XT5. This is going to allow us to carry not one or two bike racks, but maybe three or four. We've got a lot of room up here. We can possibly even carry two kayaks. Now they're made out of aluminum, so we don't need to worry about any rust or corrosion. I've got the black installed, but they're also available in silver. So if this is something you're interested in, CETrailer.com. Now they're also very aerodynamic. You can see that here. These are going to be a lot quieter than your traditional round or square bars. They're going to work with your standard clamp-on accessories, as well as your T-slot accessories. You'll simply remove that end cap, and you can slide that T-bolt right over that rubber strip to your desired location for that nice clean look. There's no reason to trim or remove that. It just slides right over the top. Four Skyline towers keep our crossbars in place. The towers are what attach to our landing pads, which are then fixed mounted to our flush mounted rails. The crossbar spread that we have here is around 28 inches. So again, you wanna be sure that you choose accessories that meet that crossbar spread. Now, the nice thing about this setup is that if we wanna take it off or we don't wish to use the bars, we can open up the foot packs on each side and they simply lift off. Then rather than leaving the landing pads open and exposed, we can take the included cover and pop that in place. And it gives us a cleaner look than leaving it open. When we're ready to use our crossbars again, they simply set in place. There's no need to make any adjustments and we're good to go. Now, if we'd like to increase security, we could pop out the plastic core here and replace it with the Yakima same key system metal locking core. That way we can lock each one of our towers and only have one key. So if that's something you're interested in, cetrailer.com. Now this roof rack system has a weight capacity of 165 pounds. You will, however, want to check with your XT5's owner's manual to see if the roof can support that much weight. You want to go with whatever number is lowest. I'd also like to point out that with the system in place, we're still going to be able to use our moon roof, so we won't have any issues with that. Now I'll give you some measurements. This will give you an idea of how much you've added to the roof of your XT5, and it may help you when using those clamp-on accessories. From the top of the roof to the underside of the bar is about five inches from the top of the roof to the top of the bar is about six and one eighth of an inch. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get them set up. I've already got that front crossbar in place mounted to my flush mounted rails on my X-T5. The rear one installs the same way. You can see here I've got one of my landing pads in place. Let's start with the other side. So we'll need the landing pad kit. We'll need the pad itself, the fit kit, the two screws, and the security tool. Since we're on the table, we can actually go ahead and fit the pad portion in place. It only installs one way, and we can line up the holes and push it in place. We don't need to worry about pushing it all the way down. It only installs halfway onto the fit kit itself. Just like that. So up here on top of our Cadillac's roof, we can see our mounting location here on our flush mounted rails. We'll need to remove the plastic fasteners here. Now they simply twist out, but sometimes you have to use a tool like a flathead screwdriver to kind of get behind them so you can get a good grip and then you can twist them out. So I've actually got a pretty good grip on this one here. Just going to twist it out. Now you can either put it in your glove box or throw it away. If your roof rack system is not in place, it's gonna help keep out any debris that could cause some rust or corrosion. This one here, and we got a pretty good grip on this one. All right, so we'll set those aside, and our pad is gonna be installed just like this. We're gonna be going with the first hole here and then the elongated channel here. So we'll need both of our Allen bolts. We'll install that flat washer and just line it up and get it started. Once you've got both of them hand tightened, you can then use that security tool and tighten them down the rest of the way. No reason to over tighten. Just get it nice and snug. 
where it doesn't move. Back down on the table here, I've got one of my Skyline towers mounted to my Jetstream crossbar. We just need to repeat the same process on the other side. Now, in order to get it onto the Jetstream crossbar, we'll need to install the fit kit that comes with the crossbar. So we'll show you how to do that. We'll start by grabbing the black plastic piece here, just fitting it into the top. Then we'll take the metal nut here and set it directly on top of that bolt. Then we can turn it over and tighten up this Allen bolt here with our included tool. Now we're gonna tighten this down all the way. One unique thing about our tool is that it will click when it's properly torqued down. You will, however, wanna be sure that it is still loose up top. If not, you can open this up here and loosen up this bolt on the inside. From there, we're ready to slide it into our channel. So I've turned the Jetstream crossbar over and this is the channel here. We'll need to install these two pieces within the channel. So we can turn it over and just slide it on. Now we don't need to worry about setting this to a specific location on the bar. We can adjust that when we get it on our Cadillac's roof. From here, we can put on our end cap and we're ready to set it in place. Now when we set it in place, we wanna be sure that the larger rounded portion of the bar is facing forward. That's gonna be the front. We also wanna be sure that the doors here are opened up on our Skyline towers on each side. Then we're going to rest them down within the pads on top of our roof. From here, we can adjust our bar overhang. In order to make this easy, I'm going to close one side. That way it doesn't give way on the roof. So by closing up the door, it's gonna lock it in place on that pad. That way it doesn't become disconnected. Now for our bar overhang, we can use a tape measure or we can just eye it up. Basically, we just need to make sure the distance between here and here is the same on each side. Once we've got it set, we can open those doors back up and tighten down the Allen bolt right inside. So again, we'll listen for the audible click in our tool. We'll close it back up and we'll do the same thing for the other side. Once everything's assembled and installed correctly on your roof, you're ready to load up your favorite roof mount accessory or accessories and hit the road. But that's gonna complete our test fit of the Yakima Jetstream Crossbar Skyline Tower Roof Rack System on our 2019 Cadillac X-T5.